Hello, Sam Calagione, Dogfish Head Brewery. Today I am here at our original hometown, Rehoboth Beach. I'm outside Gidget's Gadgets, one of the great indie record stores in the country. This place is owned by my pal Steve. My goal is to find some albums and theoretically pair them with some of our best selling beers. Dogfish Head, super proud to be the official brewery of Record Store Day. The, the challenges facing America's small indie record stores are so similar to those that face the 6,000 little indie craft breweries across the country. We're up against the massive brewing conglomerates across the world. They're up against Amazon, Spotify. Very, very similar mission in the world and we're proud to be part of that movement. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna today do my pairings off of the used, mostly used albums, which is in this uh, neck of the woods. Let's start with 60 Minute, our single best selling beer, our continually hopped IPA. So this is an album of New Order from 1980, which happens to be the year uh, uh, Sierra Nevada opened in 1980, the, literally the patriarch of the craft brewing movement. New Order kind of did a great job of marrying uh, punk and some early uh, synth work with sort of driving electric drum beats, which remind me of that continual dosing sound in our 200 barrel room. Every, t every day we're doing 60 minute, you hear this psh, 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 uh, when the hops are being fired out the cannon into the beer, which reminds me of the drum sound of New Order. The problem with drinking beers while you're shopping is you get pretty irresponsible and you wake up the next morning and you look over in bed and you got 14 albums next to you and you got a coyote chew your own arm off from all the vinyl that you bought. So, uh, next beer that I'll find a pairing for will be, let's do Sequench Ale. So super approachable beer, uh, but super flavorful as well. So let's see what can remind us of Sequench. Well, there you go. I mean, there's a classic album by probably you know, we think of ourselves as being an off-centered brewery at Dogfish, and uh, our, our, a big uh, raison d'etre to us is a quote from uh, Emerson about exploring uh, your own path, the exploration of goodness. You can't think of uh, a more dynamic artist than David Bowie, and or more collaborative from Iggy Pop to Lou Reed to uh, Brian Eno. So super malleable, super uh, creative and fearless. Similarly, Sequench Ale has uh, a hybrid between all these different styles that comes together to make something that we're pretty proud of and we think is pretty iconic in the crowded craft beer space. So. David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, and the Sequench from Mars. This beer is our Dragons and Yum Yums, which is the collaboration that we did uh, with Wayne Coyne and the Flaming Lips. And I gotta tell you, one of my biggest mementos of my lifetime of working at Dogfish will be the text thread that is between Wayne Coyne and myself, me throwing ideas on ingredients and recipes, him throwing ideas on, on songs and music. And in fact, they actually have a record coming out for Record Store Day where they incorporated uh, the recipe ingredients for this beer into the lyrics of the song. And Wayne painted the song, so it was a beautifully uh, uh, equal collaboration. So what would commemorate our pals? I kind of want to be exact. Okay, you know what I'm going with? I'm going to go with Maisie Star. So this is a great, I guess, I would guess late 80s, early 90s, their big song was Fade Into You. And when you do a collaboration where both creative partners contribute eagerly, the creativity of each side fades into each other and it just becomes one memorable whole. That was the case of what we got to do uh, with the Flaming Lips for Dragons and Yum Yums. So there you go, find your indie record store on Record Store Day. Find your beers from the true indie craft breweries in America to enjoy while you listen to those albums and thank you guys for tuning in. Cheers.